All of the alleged gang members are teenagers charged with serious violent crimes. All are being charged as adults in a 118 count indictment that includes murder, attempted murder and conspiracy. What they are accused of doing is disturbing. Police say this 17 year old is the gunman behind a shooting outside Metro Tech that left a college student seriously injured. Police believe this is him on surveillance video shooting a gun in broad daylight on social media take a look bragging about their crimes waving and showing off guns laughing and joking about terrorizing innocent people some of the video is too graphic to show on TV it involves forcing a gun down the mouth of a small dog social media is also used for recruiting the regular and routine recruitment of 11 12 and 13 year old middle schoolers um, to be part of the gang. The alleged offenders are also seen as teens the city failed. Meantime, the department is laser focused on changing the narrative, taking down these alleged gang members accused of being involved in at least a dozen shootings, killing four people and injuring a dozen more will result in safer streets and result of relentless police work. More than a dozen suspected members of the Broadway Bullies gang, a subset of the Trinitarios, in custody and off the streets. Police say this gang is behind at least 43 violent incidents around the city, including shootings in broad daylight on 135th Street here in Harlem, a busy intersection where children are going to school and people are off to work. This surveillance video shows those innocent people running for cover. They are caught in the middle of a gang war. This same gang is behind these guns and drugs, including crack. And their criminal empire is plaguing communities in Harlem, the Bronx, and in Queens. They are accused of laundering money by hosting events. This allows them to pocket thousands of dollars, buy luxury items, cars, designer clothes, bags, even this diamond pendant, Worth 200K, gang has a legacy of lawlessness in the crew, grandfathers, fathers, mothers, and sons. The squad takes this alleged gang leader, Jarrell Dunn, into custody. This takedown, 16 gang members, including the alleged kingpin, are now behind bars. Me too. Alleged members of two violent street gangs were arrested today in a stunning takedown by the Brooklyn District Attorney and the NYPD. Public housing and often stalk their enemies in broad daylight. It is a video that explains the urgency of law enforcement officials to arrest nearly three dozen violent, gun-happy members of the Wu and Cho Street gangs. A gang member in a black hoodie opens fire in broad daylight and a man putting his child into a car. He thinks the man is a rival, but he misses that man. Instead, hits an innocent three-year-old leaving daycare. She was suffered a direct hit into the shoulder area of her body. Believe it or not, the next day the gangbanger bragged about it, posting this video, arrest of 13 members of the Wu Gang and 19 members of the Cho Gang that operated out of neighboring housing complexes in Brownsville. Officials said that the 106 counts in four separate indictments, including 27 incidents, two homicides, and 17 non-fatal shootings that wounded 14 people, including innocent bystanders. More than 20 25 guns were used and many of the shootouts were captured on surveillance videos, many in broad daylight. Gang members and their friends indicted on dozens of charges including murders and shootings like this one in the Kings Plaza Mall in Brooklyn when members of the Martens Beverly bosses saw rival gang members at the mall. Cops say this is a big deal. The Kings Plaza Mall, 530 in the afternoon. A young man with a gun aims and fires at a rival gang member. The gun jams, the clip falls out, and there's pandemonium. Prosecutors say it was just one in a series of senseless, reckless shootings on the streets of Brooklyn committed by members of the Martens Beverly Bosses, a violent street gang affiliated with the notorious gang known as the Bloods. 18 reputed gang members are charged tonight with crimes ranging from reckless endangerment to conspiracy and murder. Watch as this young man opens fire on a street in broad daylight while on the phone a call that was being intercepted by NYPD detectives. No, I'm chilling, I'm chilling. Oh! Prosecutors say they routinely used basketball terminology to communicate. It's all just a game to them. 
This is what they do to get street credibility and possibly to have some fun. The gang took its name from the streets it considers its turf, Beverly Road and Martent Street, where residents today praise the arrest. Announced a major bust in the war against gangs. 28 alleged gang members have been charged in a 14 count indictment involving crimes at NYCHA developments in Long Island City and Astoria. Bloodshed involving gangs, sometimes with innocent bystanders caught in the middle, is a scene that's becoming all too common in our city. Back up! Just last weekend, 10 people were shot, including three gang members on a busy sidewalk in Queens. We will not allow gun violence and gangs to become the norm, not here in Queens County. 28 alleged gang members are now charged in a sweeping 141 count indictment. The charges stem from 20 incidents over the past few years in the Queensbridge and Ravenswood New York City public housing developments. The NYPD says the crimes involved three rival gangs, JetBlue, the Mac Ballers, and Money the Motivation slash Obligated to Money, fighting it out in street wars over narcotics and turf. These are the trigger pulls. These are individuals that make the everyday, hardworking men and women of Queens fear for their safety. The charges include a attempted murder and assault, and a charge of murder in the second degree. These most violent gangs are behind bars this afternoon. They're part of the Trinitarios gang that calls itself OED, which stands for Own Every Dollar. They operated mainly in Washington Heights, also in the Bronx, though, and Queens. They're charged with narcotics conspiracy. The defendants are accused of selling several drugs, including fentanyl, cocaine, oxycodone, marijuana. Six of the members also were charged with firearms possession. They had guns. Prosecutors say many of the defendants regularly posted social media photographs and videos of themselves holding those guns. This is the same gang responsible for the 2018 killing of Alessandro Jr. Guzman Feliz.